There's no power but thou, O Yahweh Show new signs and make other strange wonders. Glorify thy hand, thy right arm, Yahweh Shai, that they may set forth thy wondrous works. So we're looking forward to it. For the most high to turn things up, have him to do more marvelous things. Man. Okay? And when that happens, that's going to build your faith up, man. Read on. 
raise up indignation, righteous anger, and pour out wrath. Take away the adversary, Esau and these other nations in two thirds, and destroy the enemy. Make the time short. Okay, so pray for a few days. So the kingdom could come there. He told Ezra's that, man. And he also tells you Matthew, the 24th chapter, that those days got to be short. Okay, so he said, what? Make the time short, man. Remember the covenant and let them declare thy wondrous works. Let him escape it, be consumed by the rage of the fire, and let them perish that oppress the people. All our enemies and adversaries. Big is bucked out. Smite in sunder the heads of the rulers of the heathen that say there's no other but we, the Illuminati. Okay? You guys are gonna get smitten. You're gonna be the first slaves in the kingdom of the Most High. Gather all the tribes of Jacob together, the elect, and inherit thou them as from the beginning. Because you gotta be preordained, man. It says, um, O Yahweh Shah, have mercy upon the people that is called by thy name, and upon Israel, whom thou hast seen thy firstborn. Be merciful unto Jerusalem, thy holy city, the place of thy rest. Fill Zion with thy unspeakable oracles and thy people with thy glory. The prophets, man. Okay? And the prophets is back. Like I said, you got a brother in Bolivia, man. The word went from one end of the earth to the other. That's in South America, but you got brothers in Europe, brothers in Africa. You saw a camp in Australia. The word is out, man. It says, give testimony unto those that thou hast possessed from the beginning, and raise up prophets that have been in thy name. What's the name? Yahweh? The son's name is Yahweh God, man. And the Mosah have risen us up, man. And that's that great army, that Ezekiel and St. John. Give testimony to those that have possessed from the beginning, Raise of prophets that have been in thy name. Reward them that wait for them. Let thy prophets be found faithful. Reward them, man. Okay, so we're looking for that prize, man. This immortality and power be heathen and everlasting glory. At two thirds, you're going to get everlasting fame, man. See? Jake hate the word of the Heavenly Father, man. But that's okay, man. Okay, the power that the Most High is going to do, the things he's going to do. Matter of fact, let me get Baruch. Luke chapter 2 what happened in Egypt. Let's go through it. This was when Pharaoh was chasing us on them chariots. Man. Wow. I, I don't know how much homosexual jakes I've seen walk past the camp, man. I can't even tell you, man. I cannot even tell you, man. Jake is bugged out, man. 
get bugged out, man. See Exodus chapter 14, verse. Wicked Israel is, man. No faith. Read Exodus 14 and 10. And when Pharaoh drew nigh, the children of Israel lifted up their eyes, and behold, the Egyptians marched after them. And they were so afraid, and the children of Israel cried unto Yahweh al Shah. And they said unto Moses, Because there is no graves in Egypt, hast thou taken us away to die in the wilderness? Wherefore hast thou dwelt with us to carry us forth out of Egypt? They, out of all the signs and wonders the Most High showed through Moses, they still doubted them. And that's why that generation got killed in the wilderness. It's not just the word that we did tell thee in Egypt, saying, Let us alone, that we may serve the Egyptians. They love slavery. They love captivity. says it was better for us to serve the Egyptians than we should die in the wilderness and Moses said unto the people fear ye not and that's the spirit we got to come in stand still and see the salvation of Yahweh and that's what we're ordered to do okay we're ordered to stand still and wait okay patiently just wait man it says which he will show you today, for the Egyptians who he have seen today, we shall see them again no more forever. And Yahweh Shem Yashah shall fight for you, and he shall hold your peace. And Yahweh Shem Yashah said unto Moses, Wherefore Christ thou unto me, speak unto the children of Israel that they go forth. But lift up thy rod, and stretch forth thy hand over the sea, and divide it, and the children of Israel shall go unto dry ground through the midst of the sea. That's what, come on, man. And things on that level and great are going to happen in these last days. And people are going to know beyond a shadow of a doubt that there is a God. All right? And I behold, I will harden the hearts of the Egyptians, and they shall follow them, and will get me honor upon Pharaoh, and upon all his hosts, and upon his chariots, upon his horsemen, and Egyptians shall know that I am Yahweh Shem Al Shah. When I have gotten you honor upon Pharaoh, upon his chariots, and upon his horsemen, and the angel of the Most High went before the camp of Israel, removed and went behind them, and the pillar of the cloud went before their face, the chariots, and stood behind them, and it came between the camp of the Egyptians the camp of Israel and it was a cloud of darkness to them but it gave light by night and to these one night came near the other all night and Moses stretched out his hand over the sea and Yahweh Shem Yashah caused the sea to go back by strong east went that night and made the sea dry land and the waters were divided and the children of Israel went into the midst of the sea and upon the dry ground and the waters were a wall unto them on their right hand and on their left. Split the sea in half. That's the wondrous works of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. Now forefathers saw this and they didn't believe. Let me read on. And the children of Israel went into the midst of the sea. The sea dry ground, and the waters were a wall unto them on their right hand and on their left. And the Egyptians pursued and went in after them to the midst of the sea, even all Pharaoh's houses, horses, his chariots, and his horsemen. And it came to pass that in the morning watch, the Abashim al Shah looked upon the host of the Egyptians through the pillar of fire and the clouds and troubled the host of the Egyptians and took off their chariot wheels and drave them heavily. So the Egyptians says, let us flee from the face of Israel. For Yahweh Shem Yashah fighted for them against the Egyptians. 
They knew that our power was fighting against them. And Esau is going to feel that same wrath, man. See, right now we look like basemen. And we got garments on the corner. We look like we're speaking to ourselves. But the things that's going to happen, man, brothers going to shine in that time, man. Okay? And everybody's going to want to get to know you in that time, man. Because they're going to see that certain things not going to touch you. See? Read on. And Yahweh Hashem Yahushua said unto Moses, Stretch out thy hand over the sea, and the waters may come again upon Egyptians, and upon their chariots, and upon their horsemen. And Moses stretched forth his hand over the sea, and the sea returned to his strength. So Moses had control over the elements, man. And we gonna have that same power. When the morning appeared and the Egyptians fled against it, and Yahaba Shimei al Shah overthrew the Egyptians in the midst of the sea, and the waters returned and covered the chariots and the horsemen and all the hosts of Pharaoh that came into the sea after them, and it remained not so much as one of them all got put to death. Pharaoh and his entire army. But it is, it's like. But the children of Israel walked upon dry land in the midst of the sea, and the waters were a wall unto them, and unto their right hand and on their left. Thus Yahweh Shimei Shah saved Israel that day out of the hand of the Egyptians. And Israel saw the Egyptians dead upon the seashore. And Israel saw that great work which Yahweh Shimei Shah did upon the Egyptians. And the people feared Yahweh Yahweh Shah and believed Yahweh Shimei Shah and his servant Moses. That's gonna happen again. That's how some people are gonna come into the faith. They're gonna see the acts that some brothers gonna do. See what I'm saying? But the vast majority of you Jakes, y'all gonna die, man. Alright? Two thirds, man. Right, we can't wait to that famine of the word, man. Close this thing out, man. Kala Yahweh Yahu Shah giving us this knowledge and the strength, man. We keep pushing this truth. Okay, where we at? We call them our precepts. Chapter 2, verse 11. This is a prayer. And now, O Yahweh Shemiah Shah, power of Israel, thou hast brought thy people out of the land of Egypt with a mighty hand, and it's going to happen again, and high arm, and with signs and with wonders, and with great power, and has gotten thyself a name as a pair of the day. See, folly. That's what people are looking at. It says, O oh Lord, our power, we have sinned, we have done ungodly. Yeah, you hear me on that word. Yeah, on that word. Oh Lord, our power, we have sinned, we have done, un done ungodly. We have dealt unrighteously in thy ordinances. That's all of us. That's why we kept the day of atonement. Let thy wrath turn from us, for we are but a few left among the heathen, where thou hast scattered us. Hear our prayers, O Yahweh Shemiah Shah, and our petitions, and deliver us for thy own sake, and give us favor in the sight of them who have led us away. That's why we come out here and do this work, man, so we can get that favor and that wrath to be turned away from us.
same one that the Most High did in ancient Egypt, is about to do it again. Right? That's what I'm going to read. Two more precepts. We get Jeremiah 16, 14. Yeah, Jeremiah 16, 14 calls us out. Jeremiah 16, 14, it says, Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that it shall no more be said, How by Yahweh shall live that brought the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. I just read about the one just once, and how the Most High got rid of them with the Egyptians, those Hamites. But he said, What? But Yahweh Shimei Al-Shah liveth that brought the children of Israel from the land of the north, right here in North America. Right here, man. The great deliverance going to take place right here, living in that time. And from all the lands where he had driven us, our people that scattered, driven them, and I will bring them again into their land that I gave unto their fathers. Ka'alai Yahweh Shimei Al-Shah. Let me read this last precept. Relation 15, you know you had the camera shut off. You know, a good 15 minutes got cut off. But it don't matter, man. The word is still out. Still pushing. We not stopping, man. Pray, pray to how about she now try to give you the strength to go all the way to the end. Against all gainsayers, against the slaughters, against these demons, these principalities, man give you the strength, man, to hell with these people, to hell with these non-believers. They're going to die in their sins. They're going to die in their unbelief. All right? We're doing this to please Yahweh through His Son, Yahweh Shai. We don't care about these people. We don't care about their stupid looks. We're not out here to please men. All right? We're going to continue to keep looking like a fool for Yahweh Shai's sake. All right? Revelation 15. Revelation 15, verse 1. And I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous, seven angels having the seven last plagues, for in them is filled the wrath of the Most High. And I saw as it was sea of glass mingled with fire. This is the elect in the chariots. Looking at what? America be destroyed. And them that had gotten the victory over the beast, the elect, and over his image, his new world order, and his mark, the chip, and over the number of his name, stand on the sea of glass in the chariots, having the harps of the Most High. And they sung the song of Moses, Exodus the 15th chapter, after we got delivered. They sung that song. And, and the servant of the Most High and the song of the Lamb, I believe it's Revelation the 5th chapter, saying, Great and marvelous are thy works, Lord Power Almighty. Just and true are thy ways, thou King of Saints. Who shall not fear thee, O Lord, and glorify thy name, Yahweh Shimei Al-Shah, man. That is the name that's going to be exalted, not no damn Jesus Christ, man. That's not his name, man. All right, it says, For thou art holy, for all nations shall come and worship before thee, for thy judgments are made manifest. Kala, Kala Yahweh Shimei Al-Shah. Okay, the judgments of the Most High is going to be made manifest in these last days, man. Okay? It's going to be made manifest, man. Same how he did wondrous works and got us out of the land of Egypt. He's about to do it in America. You see? These people, man, they just a walk the dead, man. We don't even care. We speak to the air. And you other brothers and sisters who listen online, man. It's all about the elect, which is a small number. So like um, the prophet Sirach said, pray for the time to be short. Pray for the elect to wake up and pray for more marvelous signs to happen so we can get the hell out of this place, man. Okay, we can return back to the land which the Heavenly Father promises from the beginning. We can have the heathen and all you other nations in, in captivity, man. Alright, so with that, let's say giving all praise, Yahweh by Shimei Al-Shah, giving me the strength to come out here and do this work week in and week out. 
to a double honest and else GMS and honest and Akium. A piece of blessings to you, brothers and sisters, that listen to hope for the leg. And death and destruction to everything else. Alright? And death to two thirds of you niggas that's about to celebrate that wicked ass carnival, man. And the most high do something on that day, man. Data Mercedes, Shalom.